Hey guys, Hello Bella here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use Canva's AI tool to make shirts for my merch by Amazon business, or I guess it's called Amazon Merch On Demand now. Whatever the case may be, I have made $100,000 profit on this platform in the last couple of years. It has really helped me have a lot of income to come in passively. Um, I won't say it's a completely passive business, but I mean, there's been like a period of six months where I didn't work on it, where I continued to make money. So let's kind of talk about this Canva tool. I'll show you some of the prompts that you can give it and how to leverage this to make more money in your Amazon business. So this is my Amazon merch dashboard. You can see that I've made $124,000 in royalties. And I would say profit from that is probably 122,000. It's a very low cost business. I don't pay a lot of money to run it. I'm on the 20k tier the unicorn squad i guess and i have 7843 unique products for sale on amazon and let me tell you it's much quicker to do this with this kind of tool so this is canva um, we're going to go to the create a design and we're going to go to custom size so 4500 by 5400 is the size it will need to be to be a shirt on merch and then i'm going to show you kind of my process so the first thing that i'll do is i'll make this black because most of my designs go on a black t-shirt so this particular feature you're going to go over to elements here and click on that and then you'll see um, a lot of different things that you can search for we can search for frog for example and it'll show you different frogs but if you don't want to do that you can click out and you can get more specific by going to generate your own so this is an ai tool where you'll need to prompt it in order for it to give you kind of what you're looking for so i'm going to show you an example of a prompt that i might use to make a t-shirt design Okay, so in this scenario, I'm going to say cute cartoon frog playing banjo. And then I'm going to also add that I want it to have a transparent background. So basically telling it that you don't want there to be a scene. Sometimes it will do that anyways, but you can just regenerate. So as you can see, it's currently working and this takes a little bit of time, but it's going to generate four images. So from those four images, you can kind of see different styles. Um, you can see if you like any of them and then you can continue further tweaking. So the downside to this is that it's AI. So sometimes it's going to give Give you like a person with three arms or a cat with three legs or something like that so the thing that you got to pay attention to is that none of those elements are too obvious i guess in your design so let's just see what this guy looks like so i'll blow him up and kind of take a look at him not my favorite but let's just go ahead and remove the background and see what he looks like after that so click edit the image and then click background remover okay so the background's been removed I can't really see them that well, so let me take a look at this on a different shirt color. That is something that you could work with for Merch by Amazon. I mean, it's very clear. It's a very good image. And back in the day, we actually had to pay to get images from different places. Um, you could get on Etsy or Creative Fabrica or places like that. But with this tool, you've basically, for $120, which is what Canva costs per year, you've given yourself access to unlimited design options. So let me take it a little bit further. So let's take this guy. So say you liked him, but you just wanted a couple more options. He's kind of cute the way he is, but I'll show you how this works. Um, so you'll go and click those three dots at the top here, and it'll say generate more like this. So we'll just click that button, and what it's going to do is it's going to give you three more options. So one thing that I'll say with the prompting is that you'll find keywords that work for you, such as like tattoo style or vintage or um, mid-century or something like that. You wanna give it a little bit of information, but I found with this tool, if you give it too much information, it does not produce very good images. It's also not great if you're trying to produce something extremely specific. It's better for those kind of like loose, you know, art styles where you don't really know what you're going for, but when you see something that looks good, you go ahead and you use that. So let's see what it came up with. The first one was in the right corner. 
Okay, so the orientation of the frog is still pretty much the same. However, that one's got different eye colors. That one's got um, a little bit of a different look. And then that one, he's got like a white banjo, whereas this banjo is kind of like a brown color. So let's just come in and play with this prompt a little bit more. Cute cartoon frog playing banjo. So what if I just want him to play a guitar instead of playing the banjo? Okay, so we've got cute cartoon frog playing guitar transparent background. What if we want the guitar to be pink, for example? Let's see if we can do that. Now, this is a tool that I've spent, I guess, about six months learning and playing around with, so I feel like I'm decent at prompting it, but if you do a lot of prompting, you probably can take this tool and make a lot of t-shirt designs with it. And one thing I like is that when you're competing with other people on Amazon Merch, it's almost impossible for them to have the same thing as you because it's all just auto-generated images so um, they all look a little bit different. So you can see how fast it came up with more options. What I like is that it gives you different art styles. So that style is more of like a 3D style. This one's more cartoony. This one's more girly. And I'm not sure what's going on there, but I wouldn't choose that just from looking at it right here. I just, I don't know, something's going on. So let me click on this and take a look and see what it actually looks like. Okay, so just blowing it up here, um, super cute. I think it would make a pretty cute t-shirt design. One of the flaws, I will say, I think is if you'll, you'll look into this a little bit more, you kind of get some of those edges that just don't look quite right. Um, but I will say that once you put it on a black background, it's probably going to blend in pretty well. And then you could also always uh, remove that part using an eraser tool. But for the sake of this example, let's just go ahead and remove the background. Oh, that's super cute. So I've removed the background. Let me go in and change this back to black so we can see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, that's so cute. So pretty much all I would do to make a design from this is to um, potentially add some text to the top or the bottom or both. Um, you'll just click add text, um, add a text box, and then of course it needs to be a lot bigger than that. And then of course you want a white font. Um, these are some of the fonts I've been playing with. Um, let's see, frog, banjo, dude. I guess it's not a banjo anymore, it's a guitar. We changed the aesthetic a little bit. So you could basically take it from there and, and you've got a design template going. Um, templates are something that I think is a great way to uh, scale yourself on merch because once you get into the several thousand tiers, you're gonna find that you can't make individual designs anymore. You have to make one design and then roll that out to a hundred different phrases. And so it no longer becomes about designing, it becomes about niche research and phrasing uh, research. So if that makes any sense to y'all. You know, a funny thing about this is I think it does animals better than it does people. Let's just go into cute cartoon of a raccoon um, in a trash can wearing a pink hat transparent background so for all the feral girlies out there now we gotta wait that's the hard part but usually while this is happening i'm coming up with my text and stuff over here yeah so it does a significantly better job when it comes to creating animals and things like that than it does people let's see if we got anything to work with here that's actually pretty cute let's remove the background on that Okay, we've got our background removed. So one thing that I sometimes do for merch shirts is I'll plan what color t-shirt I want it to go on. So this one could go on black, obviously. Let's find a different font that looks more girly, girly, girly fonts. That's a pretty girly, yeah, I like that. That's a girly font. Um, feral girly. Okay, I think that could be done. I mean, honestly, from some of the shirts I've seen uploaded, this this is really outperforming the style. Um, I like to go on the more simplistic side of things. I don't do a whole lot. I know a lot of people want to add like stars or something in the background or underline the text or something, but I just don't get into all of that. One thing I'll suggest is think about pink. So there are pink shirts on Amazon Merch. So let's assume that we want it to go on one of those pink shirts. 
all we would do is change the font to black and then we've got two shirt designs you see where i'm going with this that it's it's a continuation of something that you already spent time on so the only thing you need to do to save it is you're going to click download and then make sure that you hit transparent background because if you don't hit transparent background it's not going to look right it's not going to work so all that does is it removes this pink background so the pink background just lets you see what the design would potentially look like on a shirt okay and then you'll just click download and we'll see what that thing pops up to be Okay, so here is what it will look like on your computer. Um, you can see it's a little bit hard to read, but that's because the background has been removed and that can easily be added to a merch shirt now. So with this tool, I think, honestly, the only limitations are your prompt creativity and the AI feature. So it's not easy to, you know, come up with things off the top of your head. But what I do is I see, you know, what's already going on, what's already trending, what's, what's the thing that's going along with this particular, you know, set of phrases or this aesthetic, if you will. And, you know, feral, feral women, feral, feral girls is like a thing. So I would just kind of keep that in mind. And I would just keep working on prompts that have to do with that. And then I would probably make about 50 different phrases that I thought would be good. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how my process works. Now, my process has changed significantly. I do not have to search for images. Um, that used to be a thing, you guys. You used to have to actually like go and search for um, images that you could use commercially, but now this is so much easier. This is like, this is making it so much faster. And honestly, it's, it's more fun because you never know what they're actually going to generate. Um, I, I absolutely love working with this tool. I think it's a great tool. I think overall it's you get your money's worth out of canva just by having this one tool um there's a lot of ai tools available but some of them require prompting that i'm just not capable of um it's a lot more detailed this is like bare bones like it's very easy it's beginner friendly and it's something that you can figure out within a couple of hours and then incorporate that into your merch by amazon business okay guys i hope that you enjoyed me showing you how to use canva's ai tool if you got something out of this video you can leave it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.